and I'm a bad criminal. I'm a criminal with a conscience. I mean, you cannot have a criminal, you cannot have a conscience if you're trying to be in the naughty boy world today. You cannot have a conscience. So I'm glad I'm one and truly out of it. Freddie Foreman told me something once, it didn't mean anything to me when I was fucking 30 or 40. If it does now I'm 60, he went, you don't know when to stop doing crime. Because, like, you know, earning money is more addictive than anything else in the world. T selling drugs is more addictive than taking drugs. Because you can look in the mirror and go, I'm going yellow, my teeth are falling out, I look ill, I better stop drugs. But at what week do you decide, I don't want to earn 20 grand this week? Right, because as soon as you get rid of that, every single Friday you go, I don't know my 20 grand there. Eh? Next week, I'll have 40. Next week, at the end of the month, you'll be going, I've lost 100 grand. Next week, the car breaks down. Washing machine breaks. She just realized she wants to go on holiday, and he says, oh, I need the school fees. Mm -hmm. Your car now needs insurance. Mm -hmm. Or do I do that? I'll have another key. The worst thing to ever do is be a prostitute for a week, right? Or a weekend. Right? Because once you've done it, once you've, that's how most, that's how 95% of cocaine dealers are cocaine dealers. This is the reason 95 of them started. 95%, right? They like a bit of Charlie. They're a postman earning 300 pounds a week. They like going out on a fucking Friday, and so they like to buy a gram of Charlie. So whatever money they've got together to go out, out of their 300 pounds a week, 50 pounds of it is a gram of Charlie. And they buy that gram of Charlie, and it, Charlie is a drug that you give it away for some fuck I reason, right? For some fuck I reason, it's the most expensive drug in the world, but you buy a gram of Charlie, and every time you go out a bit, you go, do you want half of this? Do you want half? Do you want half? Right, so by the time you've had it, you've had half a gram of Charlie. So you end up going out and trying to buy two. And by the time you do that to the same dealer a week or three weeks or a month or three months, he says to you, why don't you get and I eat for a quarter of that, right? And fucking sell for Charlie and get two grand for nothing, you can't. But I can give you it cheaper than that. And they go, all right. Now, he's not thinking he's a drug dealer, he's a postman, 300 pound a week. He now gets a one week you have to do it in your life, go to a club, I've got three grand in Charlie, does anyone want to buy a gram of Charlie? Everyone go, bum, 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 gone. And you got yours for nothing. That's quite a good one. So you go there the next week. It's only taking a long time, this is two months. Right? Anyone want to Charlie? Yeah, bum bum bum, you sell free, so you're getting two a week for nothing, you can't fucking believe it. Right? So now, because they know you sell Charlie, you get a thousand people coming over to you every night going, you got any gear, you got any gear, you got any gear, you got any gear. And only a cunt would go, I could have sold fucking, I could have sold an ounce tonight. Right? And the next week everyone's going, you got any gear, you got any gear, you got any gear. No, I've got, I've got these three. In fact, I go, can I buy seven or seven, and then next week, boom, you're earning more money than you've earned in your life. Now you're going, can I buy half ounce and do that? Right, now you're earning 600 pounds on a Saturday night under the stairs in the fucking club, right? right? So what the fuck is making you get up at nine in the morning or six in the morning, going to work for five days a week to take home a three up when you can earn 600 pounds on a Saturday night? So the day job's gone. In the, in the eyes of the police, you are now a professional criminal. You don't think so, you're still on the postman mode, right? Until four months down the line you get nicked and you've got 28 wraps in your pocket, a list of people that owe you money, your phone's all fucked up and you're getting eight year, mate. That's when you realise I'm in a gangster world, right? I'm not. And that's how they end up and I'll go, I'm in prison, I've been there. And they all come out like that. Right? I'm not a big drug dealer. Right? And they've worked it out that you've earned over the last year because they're working it all out to get your money a million and a half. What? You can't go, no, I haven't. Yeah, they're telling you. Right? And we're taking your house, mate. That you've paid for with the postal for the last 13 years. And your car, and your watch. That you've your name got you. Right? You can't go, no. Right? You're fucked. And that's what is how they end up being cocaine dealers. Or no. grasses, because what happens is the police is this. There's one way that they learn they're not gangsters. The other way is a copper goes, gotcha. Right. You're either coming with me tonight. Right. You're coming with me tonight. You can't get not killed with me. Look, here's all that. There's all that. There's all that. Your blood, your thing, your phone. You're coming with me tonight. 
and you ain't coming home till your child's rev kids, right? Or you can have all that, and you give me two a week. Right? Give me two a week, drug dealers, or you're coming with court What do you want to do? And that's why they can send you fucking things on the phone. Hello, me, it's me, Bob. I've got this for sale, that for sale. I've got Charlie. I've got fucking weed. I've got a bit of the brown, a bit of dirty stuff. Uh, ring me up oh, and I'll deliver it to your house. I will, d I will deliver it to your house if you ring up and order it, yeah? Do you not fucking think that the police know that? Why do you think they're doing it still? They're allowed. They've been allowed to give the police all the addresses, they drop it off, or you're going to prison, mate. That's just some little fucking kid sent running around on a scooter. Right, it will give you the addresses rather than go to prison. Hear me, every single one. And not one will ever go, I did that. So you'll never know. Right, you're not trying to beat a Sherlock Holmes policeman anymore. Everyone is an informant. Right, years ago, if they told you it was going to be a programme for grasses when I was alive, I'd have said, lying cunt. It's normal to do that. Somewhere that's got to come back and bite you in the arse. England was known all around the world after the war as the bulldog race. You could pull their fucking nails out and they wouldn't tell you nothing. If he was a grass, you was put in prison and killed. Now you get put in the grass wing with the other 5,000. Right? So it's not crime as you know it. There is no more gangster. Yeah, romantic word. Gone with the fucking cowboys, knights and shining armour, pirates, gangsters. There ain't no more. It's not real. The police are in control of that. They know how to play with your head. 